Season 2, Episode 14 of Decorating Date Night with Troy and Dina. Give a shout out, honey. Hey! <laughs> we are in Hatfield, oh, Pennsylvania. My wave. Hello! There you go. At the home of my daughter. Ooh, it's raining. And son-in-law. They've been in the house less than a week. And we are here to help them kind of get things in order. Not all the painting is done, but we'll kind of get take you through what the update is because I know that we did a Facebook live real quick about the before so now this is midway okay and everything was just piled on top of itself yeah so we're trying to help sort things out and make things a little bit better and clean the people who were in the house before weren't yeah. necessarily the, the cleanliest Not and tidiest tidiest people so the, this floor is staying um, what's done is Window treatments are different. They had cats, and so they tore into the blinds, so we got rid of the mini blinds, chucked those out. New curtain rod, new curtains, and I painted the entire window and the frame. That's all done, thankfully. This you might remember from one of the episodes of Danny and Andrew's apartment, the wine barrel from where they got married, Lingonora Winery. Shout out to Lingonora Winery. Three bar stools that came from our kitchen. Uh, that's a sign from Danny and Andrew's wedding that her good friend made. Anna. Hi, Anna, in case you're watching Anna maybe. This sofa, do you remember? Steel of the Century, what was it? Do you remember the price? I can't, like $99 yeah, or something it's like, like that? Really cheap. And it's a good piece of furniture. Yeah. Heavy. How you know furniture is good is how heavy it is. So if furniture is really heavy, then that's a good piece of furniture. So come on in, and again, this this coffee table you might remember, found that at um, uh, from one to another. They are fantastic. Patrick and Cynthia, they run that, and they open up typically on the weekends, and they do a state sale. And I can't what the price on that was, but five thousand originally new. We got it for eighty dollars. <laughs> so. Needed a little touch up, but this is a one of a kind. Woodland is the name of the furniture company. And it was a limited edition, and they actually had them numbered, from what I understand. So this new was five thousand dollars, which is crazy. Which is that <laughs> my shopping price range, but hey, if that's your thing, you keep the economy going. And I love that. A <laughs> uh, little side table that you know, nothing is like engraved in stone. We're still kind of unpacking things. This is just so that she can breathe a little bit. And when get she a little bit of lay of the land. Yeah. And, um, uh, well, I think you're noticing some stuff like this oh, is down on the floor. The idea is this this would eventually be up on that wall probably. Yeah. And we're figuring out what's going to go over on this behind the sofa. Not quite sure yet. All of these things. We're, we're just kind of work in progress. And that sign on top of there would probably be a wall hanging more than a well, we'll setting, see. but she we don't might, know. She might have other plans for and this obviously would not be leaning on there like that. No, and she might want to move that someplace too. But we'll see. This is just, she has a box of things. Wall hangings, I'm not entirely sure where that is. So, as we go. But this TV stand, we're not using it as a TV stand, although they might put a second TV on here and just do videos, was free from the antique store in downtown Frederick. Free? Yeah. You can't make it for that. So it was yellow and it had gold flowers. <laughs> Very 70s ish, which probably is in again if you're into the whole um, mid century mod retro mm -hmm. thing. But it's a great storage cabinet. It's got shelves. Um, I even painted the inside. That's I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I went the extra mile. But it's really, talk about solid, totally solid piece of furniture. Yeah, the lighting's not very good, but we'll see if we can see. Yeah, it just no? looks like a black okay. spot. A black spot? Okay. Well, this is really a great um, great thing great find so the chaise came from my dad so all, <laughs> a lot of Danny's furniture is hand-me-down which hey free is always good right so this chaise came from my dad and it looks really good in here yeah really good in here I personally like Troy if you want to come from this angle um, and shoot from this way because this is so so Really, I, I love this view because it kind of, you know, you can actually use this. Sit there, have a cup of coffee, glass of wine, and look out the window and just have that, you know, hey. Kind of watch chilling. life drive past you. Yeah, kind of watch life pass you by. <laughs> the curtains, by the way, they are lined. They're the blackout curtains. They're really good for insulation. 
One thing I will tell you is if um, you don't have curtains, maybe you're not a fabric person, if you have some sort of a window treatment in which that's blind, it helps with energy efficiency. Because you lose, even if you have window efficient or energy efficient windows, you still lose a lot of heating and cooling out your windows. So I always recommend some sort of a window treatment, even if it's just blind. And you leave them rolled up, but then, you know, when you go to sleep at night, you roll them down. It'll help. Save you. Quick shout out to Ed Rodriguez. Uh, Hi, Ed. Doug Hart. Hey, Doug. Uh, Caitlin. Caitlin! Oh, I, I think you called, and I'm sorry, I have not even checked my phone, so I'm sorry. Robin. Hi, Robin. Uh, Danny. Hi, Danny. So, pardon my appearance, by the way, I just took a shower and I, no makeup, no hairdo, this hmm. is just me. After, After a week of, of working hard and painting. And a lot of it was, yeah, not cleaning. decorating. It was cleaning and painting and the stuff people, like that. I'm, I'm an animal lover, but the people that lived here before my daughter and son-in-law had cats. And they let the cats and, kind of have their way with the house, I think. if you have cats, you understand what I mean. They go, the cat hair is everywhere. It was in the vents. I was like... It was in the dishwasher. It was in the dishwasher. <laughs> it was in the mini blinds. I... I was just like, oh, I was overwhelmed, literally overwhelmed. I think I cried actually. I, here. I was in my bed and I was like praying, like, Lord, I, I can't do this all. Oh my gosh, there's so much cleaning to do. <laughs> um, in any event, and of course my daughter will say I'm being dramatic, but there was See, a lot uh, of cat Karen hair. Sullivan, Lyndon. Yeah, Karen, yeah. So this Jennifer, table, hey, Steve, hey. Um, we'll catch table, up with the rest of you. you um, but anyway, this came from my dad's. I remember this table. A little banged up. It's a little but... dinged up, but a little TLC, nothing. This beauty was a craft project of my own. Found the top uh, at Goodwill, bought the legs, got this from a different table, added a Lazy Susan, and it's a game table. So this is supposed to sit on the floor, and you throw some throw pillows, and you do game night. We don't know where it's going to go. There's so not, right now not it's quite enough table. floor space, really. So. <laughs> so we'll see. It might end up not going in this house, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, so the plan in the kitchen was to paint the kitchen cabinets. You can't. I did just one little section. That's not even what it's going to look like because it's going to be more. It's going to be actually a richer, creamy white. But the problem is there's a, too much humidity in the air, and this house doesn't have central air. It just has wall units. And the wall units are fine for keeping the space cool, but not so much for curing paint. Plus, the degreaser or deglosser did not arrive. This is heirloom paint. Uh, so far, it's been a good product because I used it on the window, and that you know worked out really well. So this kitchen, again, is a work in progress. The plan is to paint all the kitchen cabinets this off-white or the window white. And then open this opening up to about, actually I marked it, to here. So you'll have three, it's 30 inches from the wall to the opening on that side. It'll be 30 inches from the wall to here. So that'll be the 30 inches. This is all going to go away to a, a wall that's going to mimic, you'll see on that side, there's also a half wall. So it's going to be the same height as the other half wall. And then we're going to add a galaxy black granite top with just some bar stools, and then it'll be like a little, you know, eat-in area. This beauty, they have a restore here, just like we have in Frederick. The restore here is probably four times the size. <laughs> it is ginormous and fantastic furniture. Everything that we have times four. I mean, just think of that and really well organized. I mean, they have it so well organized. They have all the dining stuff and I mean, with the furniture is organized and the bedroom stuff. And it's really, really, really well done. So we found this there and it was $80. And I went, oh, if you know anything about Kitchen Islands and it's on wheels, so it rolls, which is nice. We have it under the light because everyone keeps banging their head on the light. So we decided to position it under there. The one thing that we needed to do was a smidge banged up, but not terribly. So we just added a little bit of touch up black paint. And the top here, the surround from the galaxy black is brown. 
So um, my daughter doesn't like the brown, she wants to get rid of all the brown, so we did that with black paint, um, a black actually appliance paint, which is really heavy duty stuff. In any event, so that's that's this beauty's got great storage. It was dirty, of course I had to clean it, but hey, if you're willing to do a little bit of elbow grease, then you can get such good deals. So that is that. Oh, speaking of painting black, the dishwasher was white. Now all the other appliances are black. So it didn't make sense to have a white dishwasher. What I'm thinking is the dishwasher is old or vice versa. I'm not sure which came first, but they decided to go one direction or the other. It used to be this color. I didn't want to paint over the control panel, so um, all we did was do a gloss, high gloss black, which turned out well. That took forever to dry too. When there's a lot of humidity in the air, it's really, really difficult to do any sort of painting on anything other than drywall. Even the drywall paint took a little bit longer. This window, if you can see the backsplash, I don't know if you can tell, there's different shades of green and like almost like a gray green. They decided to paint the window hunter green. Like we are talking dark, dark hunter green. I'm not entirely sure why, but it was a major eyesore. So what we did was go back and I did the heirloom white. I don't think I have it up here, I've already back downstairs which is what we're going to do with the pantry color to tie the two in together. You know, we had the option of do we do black or do we do the white. I just wanted it to be clean up here. The only thing black up here is your appliance. And I don't usually don't want to draw attention to your appliances. And I felt like by doing the window black, it would just draw your attention then to the black appliance. You know, if it was a wolf and it was like a state of the art and you're a chef and like you want to show off your stuff, I get that. So then, yeah, we'll go with then whatever you know, whatever that color would have been, then we would have done the window back. So, if that makes any sense. Lighting fixture's fine, that's not gonna stay there because the, the plan is, um, yes, this is going to be somewhere in the kitchen. On this wall, though, there's gonna be some built-in pantry. There's not a whole lot of storage in the kitchen for food. There actually, there is no pantry at all. So, we're trying to find, we'll be shopping at the ReStore, checking back, for a cabinet store that is doing, getting rid of one of their um, display units. A lot of times they'll just sell them off. So we're waiting to find something like that because they're running, you know, they have a tight budget. But the plan is to then do this wall with some built-ins, you know, to wherever the fixture is. And then coming over this way, and of course then this wall is gonna be here too. So it'll help kind of provide an anchor to the pantry, the built-in pantry. So that's the plan in the kitchen. Hardware is going to change. We're probably going to do, um, if I can't find black of these, that's a whole lot of work to change, then I'll probably just do this dark, dark oil red bronze on here too. It'll really pop when you've got the white cabinetry. But you just have to kind of find, sometimes the restore has all of that, the poles and stuff, so haven't quite gotten there. Okay, so any questions, any comments? Well, um, let's see. Well, Catherine has joined in, and the, Danny said the box of wall hangings is in the same box as the indoor outdoor rug, wherever you put that. Okay. So, anyway. Well, there is a box in here, but when you but, get home, we can look at that. Yeah, and we didn't want to make wall yeah. hanging decisions. No, we're just you know, doing that, those are really personal touch things yeah. that yeah, really is not, it's not Andrew, our house. I don't want Andrew to throw me out of his house. <laughs> Um, all right, so you're going to step down into the family room. Here's a better look at that half wall on this side. Yes. Okay, so this... And what color was this? This was green. Again, that hunter green. They liked hunter green. And all the walls were like a light lime green. They liked green. <laughs> um, a lot of green. It was like... Kermit the Frog decided to take home here. So this again is the high gloss black and it's still tacky. I mean, it's just, it's the amount of humidity in the air. Well, and that, that was painted right? a couple days ago. That was painted, um, yeah, actually I think on the second day I was here. So, well, so it's it's sure. yeah, we're gonna have, ch Tyler's chilling. You might recognize this furniture. It used to be in our house and now it's in Danny and Andrew's house. 
again, really good furniture is heavy, so this wasn't exactly easy to move. Danny and Andrew moved it from that front room. All the furniture was in the front room, if you remember our previous decorating date night. So Danny and Andrew moved that into this room tonight. Right. Right. So, yep, I'll get you some dinner. So, found this end table, by the way, with the wrought iron base and the glass top, 15 bucks at, from one to another, the estate sale. Um, this end table, that light is left over. It doesn't work, but they have so little lighting in here that we needed to. It works. You mean it doesn't work de well, decor-wise? Well, decor-wise, it's not the vibe that we need, but it's fine. Yeah, this house is definitely that. lighting challenged. Yeah, so we did have somebody come over, and they're giving them an estimate about adding some pot lights. We're going to do the pot lights almost in, actually in the center of the room, but right here, boom, boom. So it's going to make our three-point lighting, which I talk about a lot, three-point lighting. And you can do that with the ceiling, by the way, three-point lighting. It doesn't have to necessarily be on the ground. The recliner is here. A lot of people don't like recliners not facing your TV, but this creates a nice seating area. You could always move it if you wanted to. Flooring in here is changing. It's going to be a darker brown like they have in the other part of the house. This side table I made, you might remember um, I did a DIY thing where I took a spool, painted it black. This one I added feet and turned it into a side table as opposed to a stool and added a plexiglass top. Ah, wall decor. There it is. <laughs> There's the box. <laughs> Hang on, man. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks, Diana. I'll get you some dinner in just a smidge. Speaking of storage, though, there is great storage in here because this is a storage ottoman. Right now, there's dominoes and Uno cards and playing cards. Yeah, not pizza. No. The games. Yeah, but that's nice storage. Um, anyway. We mounted the TV. Yeah, so um, Tori and Danny, uh, Andrew did that last night. That actually came out really well. And one of the things we have to figure out what we're going to do about masking those cords and not have it be just an eyesore. Uh, yeah. We have some I, ideas. We'll have to see what it ends I, up being. It, I don't, it doesn't really bother me. It's very, you know, whatever. So the clock we're thinking would be good right here because it provides balance to anchor this piece of furniture. And they are talking about getting a dog. They first have to get a fence. And so when they do, a good place for the dog bed would be right here. It just is a natural spot. The dog is obviously part of the family. So in the family room, it makes sense. All right. Um, so this wall, Danny loves the wine color, so we did this as our accent wall. Whether or not this mantle is going to change colors, we're not sure if we're going to stain it a darker color to match the floor or if we're going to leave it. I kind of like it the light because I feel like it picks up the accent colors in the furniture, so I'm not quite sure. We have to wait and see when the flooring goes in what it's going to feel like. Added drapes again here. There was no window treatment. There was a rod. That's not the best rod, but it's what was there. And so for now, it's fine. So the wall color in here, um, the initial thought was to try and pull the blue-gray out of the kitchen backsplash tile and do that throughout this room and the kitchen. I'm trying to get However, the color. I can't really see the color that yeah, well. The lighting's not very good. But. So the blue-gray color was called Gibraltar. I should have known Gibraltar is a C, right? <laughs> it was way more blue than gray. So when you came in next to the wine wall, what do red and blue make, honey? Mm, purple. Well, that's what we got. Because visually, when you put the two colors together, even if you're not combining them, it leans in that direction. So when you walked in, Danny came home and she was like, Oh my gosh, it looks purple. And I thought, oh, maybe if we sit on it, it'll be less purple. And I was, just, <laughs> I was hoping because we had already gotten half the room done. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta pay more. <laughs> so it didn't, it was purple. It definitely felt purple. So um, I had to go back to the drawing board, pick more of a, a gray. She doesn't like green, and I get it because there was so much green in here. But in this case, the green was able to tone down yeah. the purple, so you have to do a green base. And I know some of this because I'm also a hairdresser, so a quite. lot of... Uh, the shade is not, just, no, you're watching this on your video screen, if the shades are I not... I honestly can't remember the color. It's a Sherman-Williams color, and I 
put it's on my phone, but of course that's not going to help because in any event, it is uh, oh adaptable gray just popped into my head, which is which is interesting because it looks different colors and different it kind of adapts. <laughs> so it's a great name. So it's called adaptable adaptable gray. Say that ten times fast because it really does look different depending on the lighting and the different spaces, but way better choice than the Gibraltar. Um, Angel, stop flicking. Mm. So our dog knows that there was a cat here. So she's licking <laughs> all of the everything that I have not scrubbed. I'm like, stop it. <laughs> okay. Um, fireplace was off-white. That's just going to stay like that. Anyway, I think it looks really good. This clock is going to go here. I think we talked about that. Yeah. Other wall hangings, not quite sure. I have to get a feel for everything, and then we'll we'll know what's what. No, we didn't do anything in the basement, so no need to go yeah, down there. It's not finished. Didn't do anything in the garage, so no yeah. need to go in there. Yep. So the carpet is new. So this was a matter of Danny and I FaceTiming each other because <laughs> I had to pick this. This went in before they moved in, so I had to pick this from Frederick with her. Um, so I, I think it... I think it's good though. Yeah, you know? this the color on this is showing up a little bit better on the video than the because uh, there's a little more light in this room. It has some blues, some grays, some you gold, some that. browns. I mean, it's really fantastic if you've got all those colors in your decor and you want to kind of pull everything together. And it also has a plethora of dirt. It's very forgiving, so we love like that. So come up with me. Really, I think it's kind of cool. Danny and Andrew can decide if they want to keep it or not. It doesn't bother me. There's other things I think that they can get to, um, like a cracked tub that they have. The homeowners left them with a cracked tub. Very odd. Very strange. I'm not sure when it happened, but so in there you'll see the yellow. The bathroom was completely yellow. They did not paint well. The drywall's in terrible shape. Um, this was one room that we did not touch at all, other than me just trying to clean it a little bit um, it was even the shelves in the pantry here were filthy so bad that I either had to paint them or cover them so I got contact paper and oh, just covered pantry's them. back behind the store I guess Honestly, couldn't handle it so what is going on I said it's dirty <laughs> <laughs> did you catch that well, your anyway. phone's getting hot This is the bedroom that I've been sleeping in. Um, nothing was set up. First day, got the bed set up. This was actually our bed, honey, when we first got married after the wicker furniture, my kid furniture, we graduated to this headboard. So now it's uh, in the spare bedroom here. I held on to it. This headboard's probably 28 years old, 29 years old. But it's stickly furniture, so it's really good furniture. They bought an armoire um, at a thrift store. Those are the drawers. It's a beast. We have to figure out how to get it up. Or I should say they have to because we're going home. They have to figure <laughs> out how to get it up the stairs. That'll be some muscle power for Andrew and his brother. So it's going to go right in between the two windows. That's where that's going to live. Uh, and then this mirror um, is great. It's just a dressing mirror. So that's going to go there. Tyler, stay out of your room. Um, what? Angel, come on down. Uh-oh, she's not supposed to be up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to hold you. <laughs> we don't want new presents. <laughs> we're not allowed on the new carpet. <laughs> so oh. you're going to be in decorating date night, Angel. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so this is the room that Tyler slept in. We were, the original plan was to get some um, flats and make a day bed, but that was not happening with as much um, organizing and cleaning that we had to do. But this day bed was on special at World Market, which they have here, jealous. And it was $500 marked down to 300. That was a deal. Um, solid wood, Andrew had to put it together, but I don't think it took him that long. He didn't say that it was a hard you know, problem to do, but it's, a, it's, it's really good for a, a guest room because it looks like a couch, but it's a day bed. So it's a twin size sofa under there. Alice has joined. Hello, Alice. Hi, Alice. So that mirror came from our house. Um, don't even remember where that was, but in any event, 
now it's here. It doesn't have to live on the stand. I just, I didn't want to put anything on the walls without Danny. This sign came from when Danny and I did our mother-daughter trip to Waco. And I love that saying, so it's going to go over the desk. And it's perfect because it's white and it'll go over the white and gray desk. This desk came from Costco, 100 bucks, great deal for that. So that was good. Um, yeah, so that's it. So now you have seen the home. Um, nothing in the other than paint in the master. I'm not going to take you in there because that's their private space and I don't want to do that. Tyler? Oh, shoot. Okay, I put you in the front door. In my heart. He, he already got away once. <laughs> All right, actually, before we he, end this. He tricked me and said he wanted to go on their swing in the backyard. And I was like, okay. Actually, and, and we'll go in the, look at the swing, actually. Okay. Angel stay. Angel stay. I'll get you dinner in one minute, bud. Okay, so it's yeah, the only thing we really had to do outside was to try to get the trees a little under control. You can see there's some leftover <laughs> branches that haven't been cleaned up yet, but these trees had so many low hanging branches, they were really more like really, really tall bushes. And so everything that was Okay. Well I'll I'll narrate while you get the dog. So everything basically that was, I don't know, 12-ish feet maybe off the ground or lower uh, got cut off, pruned back, uh, except for apparently I missed a couple. Oh, that's just leaves caught in the bark. Never mind. All right. So the, this is the swing. We're going to come see the swing. You can see the evidence of the freshly cut branches. One of the things that we're a little uh, concerned about is the number of very large trees in the backyard, and some of them I don't think are alive. Like, I think this one is not a living tree and is going to have to come down, but that's a big tree, so somebody who knows what they're doing is going to have to handle that. And there's another tree right in the middle of the yard that is definitely, for sure, I know for a fact is dead. Uh, that one's going to have to come down. Some of these really skinny ones that are in the back, probably we can handle getting those down without professional help. Those are hand, those are manageable. This is the swing that Tyler came to sit on, supposedly, but then went and wandered into the neighbor's yard. And you can see why. Behind the swing, they have a bunch of little toys and stuff, and he went exploring. So he wasn't doing anything mischievous, but got to keep an eye on him. Hey, Kathy, hello. And you can see another evidence of some, so anyway, that's just some example. These trees, where I'm walking right now, I would have had branches hitting me in the head, believe it or not. <laughs> so, and it's everywhere. I don't know if the video does justice to just how many trees there are, and it provides good shade. And with a house that doesn't have central air, it's nice to have some shade, provide some cooling, but, um, too much shade makes it impossible to grow any grass as you can see and the people who were in this house before I don't think they like to cut grass so they just let it grow wild so you have all these trees and weeds and stuff kind of sprouting up in the um, in the yard and these weeds actually are small trees that are beginning to take root so give it a few more years and you're going to have more and it's like a forest in the backyard so they're going to have to figure out what they want to keep, what they want to get rid of. Some of the trees have uh, been felled. Perhaps they fell down. Perhaps they were professionally chopped down. Probably not professional because there's a bunch of wood left on the ground. And it's just, it's rotten. This is completely rotted and just soft and a mess. So figure out how to get rid of that. Even though it's soft and a mess, it, I'm sure it's heavy. And over here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess seven or eight, I guess, uh, yeah, eight bushes, but two of them were completely dead, and uh, most of the rest of it was all but dead, so pruned it back, got rid of all of the dead stuff, as you can see, got rid of all of the dead stuff, including this one 
is down to just the trunk. There's nothing left of those. And we'll see if these will come back. I doubt that they will, but we're going to give them a shot to see if giving them some breathing room and getting rid of the dead wood around it will make a difference. Uh, a fence is going in, so that fence over there is coming down. Um, what else is there to see back here? The patio needs a little bit of repair work. Other than that, I think we're in pretty good shape on the patio. And by the way, this was broken. We were able to get it fixing, the, uh, working the screen. And I think that's about it. So, anything else to be added? If you remember anything else? She doesn't want to be on. She's a grump. <laughs> All right. So, we want to say our goodbyes then. Let me turn turn this around. Charlie, do you want to come say goodbye? Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry for Bye. my appearance, everyone. I know I look awful. Sorry. No, never. <laughs> oh, it looks like Susie. Hey, Susie. Hi, Susie. Hello. Goodbye. You can watch it. <laughs> uh, go back and watch it. You can see what we did. Yep.